Hey, welcome back. It is time for our weekly segment with the Columbus Zoo. Emily Yunker joining us now from one of my favorite spots inside of the zoo. So Stingray Bay, um, it's not only a great place to get out of the cold, but it's a lot of fun for your family. That's right. This is one of my favorite exhibits. It's so tranquil in here. It's really lovely. Um, you know, this is an area that it, it's cool to visit, especially in the winter, but year round, you can come and see these guys. This is an area where you can touch the stingray. We have two different species, the Kaunas and the Southern. So yeah, tell us a little bit about the two different species because they, they, they got their differences there. Absolutely. So the cow nose stingray gets their name from their cute little nose. And I know it's kind of hard to see. Here's a little guy coming up. Aww. But they have a nose that's kind of similar to a cow's nose. So that's how they got that name. And then the southern stingrays are a little bit bigger and they have a, a rounder body as opposed to those wings on the side. Um, there's just a couple in here. There's more cow nose. So if you keep an eye and kind of watch closely, you can see there is a little bit oh, of a there. difference. Oh, here's one right here. So Aww. here's the southern right here. The southern get a little bit bigger. Females in general are bigger than the males in both species, but they're so cool. Why is it so? Why are we able to touch them, and and why are they so friendly <laughs> over there? So these guys. Oh no, that's a great question. You know, rays are really docile, and you know they they have been trained to be able to take fish from people. You know, they're always fed by hand, so they're really used to interacting with us and the guests. And um. You know, it, they have the option to get away if they want to, but most of the time these guys are right up here by the side, and it's just such a cool opportunity to learn about these animals and learn about having to save the ocean and just about all the marine life. This is just a cool interactive experience that we're so thrilled to have for you guys here at the zoo. What are the threats that these guys would face out in the wild? So the southern stingray is actually pretty common. But the cow nose stingray is, is vulnerable, so they're pretty close to becoming an endangered species, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. You know, sustainable fishing is something we talk about a lot, and that's something that you can use to save these guys, even when you're right here in Ohio. If you pay attention to the type of fish that you're eating and make, making sure that your fish is sustainably harvested, um, then you're helping save animals like these rays out in nature. So I went to go visit Stubby last week, and she's got some stingrays or something in her tank, too. Those are yeah. massive, though. Some of them get really, really big. So actually, some of these guys have shifted into the manatee area. So that's another place that you can see the stingrays as well. And some of those guys are humongous. Are they friendly, too, because they don't seem it? <laughs> they, oh, absolutely. So they're Aww. ones that are, are used to people as well. We do hand feed them. And some of them have been in this touch pool before. Um, we just have kind of shifted them around over time. So the bigger ones that you'll see are actually in manatees currently, but they, they've been in this touch pool before. How big are those guys going to get? Are they going to get pretty large? So the southerns are a little bit bigger. They can get five feet um, in length. They can be really, really, or width, I should say. Five feet in width, they can be pretty big. The cow nose get, are a little bit smaller. They can get about three feet, although, of course, there are reports of some being bigger. There's a big guy over there swimming around in the middle. I don't know if he's going to make his way over here or not. But the females in general in both species are bigger than the males. Yeah, and I think that's uh, that's that's about right. I like that. Bigger probably in personalities as well. Um, yeah, girl power. The ones that have the babies, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. They gotta have all that space. So tell us, that's is there anything else going on at the zoo that we should know about? You know, we actually have a bunch of tours. You know, we always talk about this, but I think it's such a cool experience that's new this year. Is Stingray Tour is one of them. You can actually come here and have a private tour feeding these guys. It's twenty five dollars a person. And you can have up to eight people in your tour. So you can come here, meet with one of the keepers, and learn about the stingrays. But we also have tours in so many different areas. If you go to the Discover tab at ColumbusZoo.org, you can check out all the different tours. There's a new giraffe farm feeding tour that's only available until March. Um, there's chatting with cheetahs, where you get to meet our cheetahs and learn everything that goes on in our cheetah building. There's a bunch of different experiences that you can check out. It's always a good time to come to the zoo. Emily, thank you so much.